scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Praise. You deserve to be lifted and we honor you. Hallelujah. 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 Honestly, God has been faithful to us. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Awesome God. That's our testimony as a family of faith. Can you lift your hands and join me worship this king? Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Oh yes, we thank you. The miracle walker. The one who is changing and building people. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. You're such an awesome God and we give you all the praise. Such an awesome God. 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 I'll sing it one more time from the depths of your heart. Such an awesome God. Such an awesome God. Father, we thank you. And tonight, Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, we wait on you. Holy Spirit, we wait on for fire. of the finger of God in our midst and Lord we take our time and give you praise hallelujah hallelujah in the next two to three minutes I just want us to express our gratitude to God everyone just mention all the things the Bible says count your blessings Lord we give you thanks Zibrando Jalakata. Thank you. Those he saved from accidents. Those who were killed for the miracles. Changing him. 
impossible situation. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We acknowledge you as the doer of these things. No man is worthy of praise. Not Joshua Selman. Not anyone else. There is one who is worthy of all the praise and we thank you. We praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With everything, with everything, we will shout for your glory. With everything, with everything, we will shout. For your praise, lift your hands and bless his name. We everything, we everything, we will shout. Lord, we are saying thank you. We are not ungrateful. We choose to see the things that you are doing in our midst. And Lord, we thank you. We will shout for your praise. We will shout for One more time with everything. I will shout for your glory. We will shout for your glory. With everything. We thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Worship right here from your spirit. One more time, just the voices. Hallelujah. 
da balaka to sempre la cate prodosso balana mande credisse la cora bashala si baba shila brande ge de balana bradisa mambre de ge shida balana bas men te pradesh le ba the power of god is healing people right now sick bodies are being healed right now sick bodies are being healed right now by the power of the holy ghost sick bodies are being healed right now by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah thank you jesus your presence is all we have oh god your presence is all we have in you we make our boast all day long your presence is all that we have hallelujah hallelujah Lord we give you praise. I thank you. I thank you for the gift of your presence. This is all that we have. This is all that we have. Your presence. We give you praise. We give you praise. Mighty one of Israel. For no man can do these things except God be with him. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is called Emmanuel. Emmanuel, sing Emmanuel. Emmanuel, the mighty one in the midst of his people, doing wonders, or inspiring wonders. Come on, sing it to the miracle walker. Sing it to the one who can change your life. Your name is God. One more time, lift your voice and sing. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is God. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Help us tonight, O oh God. Spirit of the living God, we depend on you. Help us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Greet everyone around you. God bless you. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Jesus, we thank you. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is the mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what we call it. Jehovah, you are good. You are kind. You are more than what people say. Jehovah. You are bigger than what we call you. You are greater than what we call you. You are higher than what we call you. You are better than what we call you. Jehovah. You are good. And you, you are, are high. Kind. You are more than what people say. Jehovah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pray tonight and ask the Lord to touch you. Pray that His word will change you. Change us, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You're welcome. Good to see everyone. God bless you. Praise God. I want to talk about something very, very important tonight. But first we are going to pray. Hallelujah. Psalm 71. We'll read this scripture and we'll arise. And I want you to pray your life out. Within the next five minutes. And then we will teach. Because in this season God is determined that you must be great and no power in existence will stop it psalm 71 verse 21 psalm 71 whether you have a seat or not i want you to just concentrate because the power of god will touch you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul that's what will happen to you tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul I will be changed His glory will be revealed When the Spirit takes over my soul Ready? Psalm 71 Verse 21 One to read One more time One more time. Jump up on your feet and blast in tongues and say, Lord, this is your word. You are determined to increase my greatness. It says, Thou shall increase my greatness. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere. You will increase my greatness. You will increase my greatness and comfort me round about. Thou shall increase my greatness. This is your word for me. I receive it. You receive. You increase my greatness. 
financially you increase my greatness career wise go ahead and prophesy and say lord you are determined to increase my greatness it says thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me round about thou shall increase my greatness oh you will increase my greatness i will be higher than i am now something will come upon me that will take me to the next season of my life you will increase my greatness pray tonight god is about to mark your life and open up the portals for a new season he said thou shall increase my greatness thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me lord we receive your word as a house you will increase our greatness 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 you will increase our greatness. Makaparata po shoto praise. Sete karia tabala la la la. Hallelujah. Isaiah 54. Shekata tabaka tabala la la. Isaiah 52, 54. Isaiah 54. I'll read verse 1, you read verse 2, and then we'll read verse 3 together. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing, and cry aloud, thou who did not travail with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, said the Lord. Verse 2. Are you ready now verse 3 read it as a prophecy to yourself for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited lift your voice and say i am breaking limits i am breaking forth come on prophesy koinonia i am breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit nothing limits me pray inside and outside i'm breaking forth this is the word of the lord i'm breaking forth on the left breaking forth on the right i'm breaking forth 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 in the name of jesus i'm breaking forth we are breaking forth by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah ezekiel 47 Ah, before I teach tonight, I have come to prophesy. Mande brandi shalakata. Zike preti shabaladabai kanda preti shata. Honestly, I prophesy to you that this is the season that you will begin to break limits. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I prophesy. I prophesy upon every area of your life. It's time to move to the next level. It's time to move to the next level. Break barriers. Break barriers. Break barriers. Ancestral barriers. Break limitations that came with your lineage. I prophesy to you, rise up. This is your season. 
for your head to be lifted up this is your season you will shine like the star you will shine like the star rise up to your destiny answer the prophecy of your name i prophesy to you arise shine your light is come in this season arise shake up the dust arise stop crying shine is your season to shine the gentiles will come to your light they are kings to the brightness of your rising i prophesy you are marked for shining arise and shine somebody is leaving his current level let me tell you listen i prophesy to you that the level you are now there is a hand that will pick you tonight in the name of the lord jesus christ and when they saw saul they said he saw also a prophet what suddenly happened a man who left as a house boy returned back with an anointing i pray in the name that is above all names those who have laughed at you this is the season they will see the glory of god arise those who have mocked your god i prophesy this is the season you will arrive those who have said it's impossible may the hand of my god lift you from where you are to where you need to be hallelujah the bible says and the king sent for joseph a man of great destiny was locked up in a pit but the bible says the king sent for him let me tell you when the king sends for you no power in existence has the ability to stop you when the king if a messenger sends for you is all right but when he said the king sent for joseph tonight my god is sending for you it's time for your destiny to arrive the king is sending for you the king is sending for you hallelujah Ezekiel 47 listen 11 times in my dream the Lord kept telling me is the season of breaking forth for God's people 11 times 11 times I have never had such an experience 11 times the Lord kept speaking to me that go and prophesy that is the season that's why i came with that verse you can choose to believe it because you see when many people hear the word they are just those who just stand but there are others who say lord this is it this is my word i take it i receive it it is my word ezekiel 47 i'll just share this and we'll pray i want your spirit to be fired up tonight afterwards he brought me again to the door of the house and behold what has issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward and the forefront of the house stood towards the east and the waters came out from under from the right side of the house at the south side of the altar then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way outside into the outer gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters from the right side now listen it says and when the man that had the line in his hands went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's a level and he brought me through the waters and they were to my ankles again everybody say again oh the last lifting is not the last one the bible says again 
the word of the Lord is coming again for many of us the last time it came was years ago it says arise shine not because there is light the light has come to you when the light comes to you you must arise hallelujah again he measured a thousand cubits and brought me through the waters and the waters were to my knees again he measured a thousand and brought me through and the waters were to my loins afterwards he measured a thousand cubits and it was a river i could not pass for the waters had risen waters to swim and rivers i could not pass over oh the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ the lord will take you higher in the name of jesus christ hold hands with somebody and we are going to prophesy combine all these three scriptures together and shout it let the pit of hell know that is your season for lifting go ahead and prophesy it's my season of lifting it's my season of breaking forth it's my season of life it's my season of dominion by the power of the holy ghost prophesy breaking forth in every area of your life i'm breaking forth spiritually i'm breaking forth financially hallelujah hallelujah let's take one more scripture revelation chapter 3 man take a babakata labakata revelation chapter 3 from verse 8 is projected are you ready one to read stop it says i know your works in other words i've been watching you although things are not working i watch the way you praise me through the pain he said i know your works and as a result behold see i have set before you an open door he said no man no man no government no devil of darkness can stop it lift your voice and prophesy the door is open for me that prison door is open in the name of the lord jesus shake it take it hey. sister receive it for your marriage that door is open receive it for your finances receive it for your career the door is open the power that will stop you must bow tonight oh yes you set before me an open door an open door we still pray through more scriptures isaiah 45 isaiah 45 i'll read verse 1 and 2 and then i want you to read verse 3 from the depths of your heart isaiah 45 thus said the lord unto his anointed joshua selman whose right hand i have holden 
to subdue nations before him and i will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates he says and the gates shall not be shut verse 2 i will go before thee and make the crooked places straight i will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron you are ready to read your prophecy now verse 3 shake it ba 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 am bring the second day back ari ada ba 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 he said and i will give you the hidden riches of secret places lift your voice and pray and say lord i'm ready to receive your word says you will smash the dead and you will give me the hidden riches of secret places come on pray koinonia the meeting is already on pray i receive it i receive it I receive it. Hallelujah. The last scripture. Isaiah 43 hmm. Isaiah 43 from verse 16 Thank you Jesus Are you ready? Thus saith the Lord which make it a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters how can a man make way in the sea hallelujah verse 17 who bring it forth the chariot and horse the army and the power they shall lie down together they shall not rise and they are extinct they are quenched as a weak Verse 18 is a prophecy to someone. He said, remember ye not the former things. Forget about the disappointment of yesterday. Forget about who said what. Forget about what did not work. Are you hearing me? Forget about the result of yesterday. Forget about what the doctor said. He said, remember ye not the former things. Neither consider the things of old. Why? Verse 19. Behold. I will do a new thing oh yes he will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it I will even make a way in the wilderness and streams in the desert I like you to lift your voice and say Lord I forget about the failures of yesterday I forget about the failures of yesterday in the name of Jesus what the Lord will do will surpass what you expected him to do pray I remember not the disappointment I remember not the failure go ahead and prophesy it's a new season God is doing a new thing God is doing a new thing receive it as a prophecy hallelujah may your ears hear it may your eyes see it and may your hands handle it i prophesy one more time may your ears hear about it may your eyes see the miracle and may these hands that are lifted may these hands handle it in the name of the lord jesus christ give god a shout of praise and be seated Thank you, Jesus. 
once in a while god gives us prophetic words like this to shake off every unbelief hallelujah thank you jesus one of our passions as a ministry aside from helping people experience intimacy with the holy spirit one of our passion is to help people understand the principles of the kingdom everybody say the principles of the kingdom one of the greatest revelation in my life was the understanding that the kingdom of god is a system that is built on definite structures For me that was the ultimate confirmation that god is a just god hallelujah the bible says he's no respecter of persons and he does not show favoritism whoever can walk this principle of the kingdom ends the right to walk in certain strange order of graces and blessings and may that be your portion tonight in the name of jesus christ so tonight i want to share with us something when the lord gave me the word that he's increasing and expanding our greatness i knew at once that my job is to prepare us so that we do not miss out on the prophetic things that god is doing hallelujah thank you jesus you will be lifted in the name of jesus christ tonight i want to share a very simple spiritual principle and i will tell you why certain people rise and get to some levels and never rise beyond it if you listen if you if you listen and understand what i will teach tonight truly your path will be as a shining light we have prayed we have spoken the word but now is the time to settle down and listen and know how to align with prophecy he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been spoken to you it's not enough that the word comes we must know how to align with the word say amen and tonight i want to teach on a very powerful spiritual principle write it down faithfulness 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 that spiritual formula that governs the rising of men from one level to the other faithfulness I want to show you a powerful formula part of the construction of the kingdom of god this principle was put there and if you know how to walk it then you will keep rising everybody say faithfulness the first point i want you to know tonight is that it is god's desire for us to experience ever increasing success and greatness in every area of our lives it is god's desire for everyone everyone under the sound of my voice and those connecting with us online it is god's desire for everyone to experience ever increasing success ever increasing greatness is god's desire for you to move from one level of glory to another it's important that you know that it is god's desire there are people who do not believe that it is god's desire for them to experience the blessings of god to rise from one level of kingdom influence to the other say it is the desire of god to see me increase hallelujah but then this these greater levels that we talk about doesn't just come 
just because of prayer or prophecy alone there are kingdom principles that we must abide by and if we do then we'll be able to step into these levels and one of them one of them is faithfulness hallelujah there are very few teachings about this faithfulness we teach on prayer we teach on many aspects of kingdom principles and they are good but i, I will show you the all surpassing excellency of faithfulness and how it is able to take a man from nothing and take you to the top hallelujah what is faithfulness right faithfulness means continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment please write i want to be very simple so that every one of us will understand continuous unrelenting loyalty and commitment be it towards god be it towards men or be it towards a cause unrelenting continuous loyalty and commitment towards god towards men or towards a cause faithfulness faithfulness is such a powerful kingdom principle that god himself called one of the names of god is faithful he is not just he doesn't just have faithfulness he is faithful that is the quality of god that makes him trustworthy it is the faithfulness of god i remember preaching a message was it last year or year before last faith in the faithfulness of god hallelujah to be faithful means to be dependable it means to be loyal it means to be trustworthy please i want you to pay attention tonight this simple kingdom principle has been the reason why many people have failed to rise from their current level of grace or current level of blessings to the next but tonight as light comes you will arise in the name of jesus christ hallelujah listen the blessings of god upon a man's life always come in levels write it you must understand this this is how the kingdom functions there's no other way no matter how anointed you are the blessings of god the anointing of god the grace of god comes upon a man's life in levels hallelujah the blessings of god come in levels listen just this this revelation enough this one i just told you is enough deliverance for many people who want to get blessed you know all this sharp sharp mentality right and the youth in nigeria have this mentality the average young man is in a hurry we want to be blessed we want to make money fast hallelujah a man starts a ministry now and in one year he wants to have fifty thousand people he wants to have 30 branches let me tell you the truth if you understand the structure of god's kingdom and how he blesses men you will stop struggling in your life many of the things that people call satanic oppression is not satanic oppression is the consequence of the violation of god's order of lifting people hallelujah a man starts a ministry and all of a sudden he sends all kinds of young people to the 36 regions of this nation and say go and start the branch of the church the kingdom does not work that way in the parable of jesus he said the kingdom of god is like a seed have you read that before the kingdom of god always starts small and then it begins to rise and the factor the report card is faithfulness hallelujah
Matthew 25. Matthew 25. Very interesting parable that Jesus gave. Verse 14. Jesus is giving us a parable now. See, listen. The Bible is not a storybook. The Bible is the wisdom of God. And if you follow through, especially the teachings of Jesus, you will see the order and the operation of the kingdom. The way the kingdom was supposed to function. Verse 14. It says, for the kingdom of heaven is as that means likened to a man. All right? Traveling into a far country. And he called his servants. Three people, please. Three people, come. You are the servants. Just stand three people. Where's the third person? Just stand, face the congregation. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country and called his own servants and delivered unto them goods. Look up. The Bible says they are his servants. That means he has been watching them. I, is that true? Do you agree with me? For them to be his servant, it means they had a period of time when they were serving him. And while they served him, he kept watching. And on the strength of his judgment and his findings, next verse and unto one he gave what five talents right unto the second he gave what two talents and to the third he gave what what was the factor it says according to their several ability in other words their capacity to manage that resource are you following me now not according to their prayer request not according to the prayer point they dropped during miracle service according to their ability that had been proven with time and you will see at the end of the parable that the man did not make a mistake ready next verse then he left he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made five more talents so this guy went and brought back profit verse 17 likewise the other who received two he gained another two all right then the third one it says but he that received one went and dug the earth you sow seeds not talent what you sow in the earth is a seed are you getting my point you don't sow talent in the earth and he took that talent and sowed it in the earth and hid the lord's money after a long time aha this is another principle what is jesus teaching us here that every time god trusts you with whatever level of grace he will come back there will be accountability are you getting my point there will be a defense there will be a supervision and the report card is what will determine whether you will rise to a new level or not please listen to me and many of you you will know the reason why although you are anointed you've not backslidden but you may never rise to another level until you pass the test of this current level hallelujah so he came back to ask the servants verse 20 so he that had received five talents he now came to the master right and brought five more in other words you gave me five master i went and i faithfully used it and this is the prophet the one that had two okay listen 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 he says the lord said unto him please go back to verse 20. behold i have gained besides them five talents more let's see what the master said verse 21 and the lord said unto him well done good and did he say good and hard-working servant good and faithful servant thou has been what faithful are you seeing now that's the quality i gave you certain gifts i gave you certain opportunities i gave you certain anointings 
I gave you certain graces. I connected you with certain people. He said, you have been faithful over a few things. What's the reward? It says, I will make you ruler over what? Many things. Did the guy pray for it? Did he fast for it? He just showed himself faithful. And the Lord said, I'm ready to take you. In other words, your faithfulness is your report card that you qualify to enter the next level. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. 22. He who had received two talents came and said, you did this and that and that. Verse 23. The Lord said unto him also, same word, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over what? This is Jesus teaching. He's teaching us how the kingdom works. Let's see what happened to the third person. 24. And he which had received the one talent came. Look at the guy. This is the one talent guy now. Just, just watch carefully. He said, Lord, that's him talking now. After a long time of God entrusting him with an anointing. After a long time, God gave him five members. And gave him one year. And kept watching what he was doing with the five members. Are you getting my point? He kept grumbling. And comparing himself with other people and doing all kinds of things and here's his report lord i knew that you are a hard man look look at this guy he's talking to the man who gave him the gift lord i know you are a hard man reaping where you have not sown can you imagine what did they call the money he said it is the lord's money but this guy is now saying you want me to be the one praying for the sick then i'll be giving you glory you are shining up there i'm here suffering and praying for people are you getting the point now he said it, it, it was see the bible says out of the abundance of the heart so this guy had been locked up in bitterness and anger waiting and say let, let this lord come we are going to flog out this issue once and for all he could not wait number five finishes oh number two he said thank god it's my turn lord i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you do not sow he says and gathering where you have not strawed 25 i was afraid instead of wasting my time to build an empire and for you to come and say it's your own it made me afraid i don't want to waste my time doing something i will not enjoy the glory directly are you getting what the guy is saying i'm not ready to just work for you and then at the end i will now come to you and say all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god that's what these guys did are you getting me they came back and said this is what you have done but all the glory belongs to you all the glory belongs to you oh god this guy was angry he said this song is not for me oh hallelujah and he was telling god his own version of the song what's the version all the glory belongs to me all the glory belongs to me oh god talking to the lord now stood and looked at him eyeball to eyeball are you getting my point now he says and went and hid thy talent in the earth lo here it is collect your team wicked man i can't be walking and then you come back and then you want to take the glory take your talent ah. let's listen to what the master called him verse 26 the lord answered and said thou and thou wicked and lazy servant thou knewest that i reap where i sow not and gather where i have not sown. what brought you into ministry since you knew that the glory belongs to me oh god give me talent give me church god gave you two members now you are complaining who pursued you who put a gun and said enter ministry hallelujah thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers and then at my coming i would have received it with interest verse 28 therefore listen this is what will happen to any man that is found unfaithful. He says, take therefore 
it's not only the devil that takes from people it's in your bible god can take away from unfaithful men and bless those who are faithful take therefore the talent from him and give it to him that has what in other words take from the one who is least faithful are you getting my point now and give it to the one who has proven to be more faithful listen all the three were servants all the three were emojis all the three were graduates right but over time the master kept studying their lives and he found out that this faithfulness this formula that qualifies men to the next level they had it in different degrees so you can graduate we all graduated from so 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 and so department and then after three years you will find out that the other person probably the one you've been laughing at are you getting my point when i heard khadijat giving her testimony i just sat down and i said to myself oh god i can tell you in all sincerity and it's not because she's here while she was here she was faithful very faithful please sit down god bless you sis. hallelujah could this be what has been stopping you from entering the next level hallelujah and i'll make it very practical now so that you will understand I told you the blessings of God always come in levels no matter how anointed you are a lot of people have gotten into trouble for instance from all these these comings and all these these things that they do on internet you just go on internet and say you won 2.5 million dollars and you are foolishly smiling to yourself say don't tell anybody and you keep quiet You see that you just go around dreaming you see people shouting at you he says only a matter of time i'm coming the reason is because we do not understand the way the kingdom is built when you know how god blesses and lifts people at once you will know what is not of god is someone hearing what i'm saying now hallelujah somebody walks up to you sorry about the light i'm sure they are working on it hallelujah this is a good way to preach no distraction no looking at ladies you hear the word undiluted thank you jesus <laughs> let me use the opportunity and say what i have to say ah praise god sorry about the sound when god trusts you with small and you refuse to regard it and be faithful then you do not qualify to walk into the greater levels hallelujah i know there are many kingdom principles that can accelerate accelerate our blessings we have double portion we have sevenfold anointing huh we have the favor of god tapping into prophetic uh, uh, unction or fountain or whatever but let me tell you and listen I learned this in a very painful way look up please I want to talk to you never try to lift a man that God has not lifted you will be fighting God and you will be an enemy of God and he will curse you there are many of you you see certain people at the same position and you'll be like uh -uh. oh God but this sister is faithful God, you said you should have blessed her. And God is saying, leave me alone. I'm the one who sees the heart of men. Listen, if God does not lift anybody, leave them there. Are you getting what I'm saying? Many people have entered into a lot of casualties because they want to help certain people. You see a man of God and you say, after two years, your church is still five members. Abba, oh God, boy, you are anointed. You are such a nice brother. You greet every sister that comes. And God is saying, continue talking there. I know why I kept five people. 
then you will see another person who looks very scattered and suspicious and god blesses the person i say god this thing i think we need to coordinate this god is saying who is the lord is somebody learning something tonight say faithfulness say it again faithfulness the blessings of god always come in levels that means whatever level god gives you the greatest way to prepare for the next level is not to be crying and fasting and say oh god when will it come when will that anointing come when will they start putting water for come, come and carry this by water and bring oh yeah now bring this my water some of you when you saw them putting the water you were just looking and say ah when will my turn come it will never come till you stop thinking about it hallelujah when you see the people serving it you just laugh and in your mind you're already wishing oh lord give me a church give me a ministry end this my inferiority complex oh lord and god is just watching you he said you think the kingdom is a place of joke see that that's what that's what some of us you know ah yeah the things that people think about in the house of god i say hot message like this is going on there are many people looking at so many things being distracted at so many things hallelujah faithfulness you came into a church and they say okay join the workers say join which kind of workers i was bible study secretary in my 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 local assembly i even led the choir you are now giving me chair to clean god didn't send me that i would do that one no give me something that is charismatic evangelism or prayer or something that will bring me out on the scene hallelujah and then you will find out that you can be in that church with them god trains you at that season he will build you there is a season in your life where you can make mistakes and go scot free god is building you are you getting my point when you prove yourself to be faithful one day god will come to you and say you have been faithful you are always cleaning chairs you are coming early by two o'clock you come nobody knows you but you are cleaning the chairs and as you are cleaning the chairs you are saying oh lord i thank you those who will sit on these chairs will be blessed somebody may look at you and say sister if it's husband you want come for miracle service you know that's how people talk once they see commitment in the house of god they say the way this sister is walking i'm sure there's one brother that is i am must it be so or when a brother is doing something he says he's looking for pastor the way this guy is doing his pastor is looking for commit yourself to be faithful I've shared my testimony was it in 94 or so 94 95 hallelujah there used to be a man a church that started called power praise chapel the name of the man i don't know if the church is still there or if the man is still there emmanuel amechi ani i'll never forget his name they started the church in a hotel not too far from our house and they brought somebody that would teach me keyboard he was part of those who brought somebody so when the church started they said i should come and play keyboard when i came to the church no choir no nothing i would trek from my house with my own money and my own keyboard and take it to the church i've said it again they never gave me anything no thank you after service the only thing they gave me once was fanta and one cassette when the man did his launching one fanta bottle fanta and one cassette and i accepted it with gratitude in fact it was my father started getting concerned because i would go to a local church i would come back and then have to go and play keyboard for them and trek back home but god is my witness i never had cause to complain once listen if you are working in a place and your leaders are not good and you find yourself talking you are sowing a seed you will reap it for sure hallelujah there are people who will never walk in a place faithfully their job is to observe what is wrong why is this lady always 
looking towards where apostle sits and what is her business why are you taking it personal what is your own problem Shabi, you came to bless god too have, be, have you been noticing what happens is you are not the only one who have been noticing this thing rather than getting blessed listen listen rather than getting blessed you are just sitting down that's how they keep doing everywhere and you will see god lifting them higher and you will remain there and you keep getting angry because every time god comes there is a report card your faithful service hallelujah are you getting what i'm saying a sister can be faithfully sweeping the house of god and say lord i'm not doing this because i want a husband but i'm committed i'm faithful i will serve you whether they laugh at me or not i will do it and one day she's sweeping that's when god will position one brother him is coming to pray god will say turn left say lord what are you saying say turn left it's time for you to change levels and the sister is just sweeping her thing i'm serving the god of miracles i know yes i know and the naysayers and the backbiters are there watching all of a sudden you will see somebody you saw rise up to a dimension you cannot even look at them again faithfulness hallelujah come to him i'll never forget she used to be the one leading worship before we started koinonia remember somebody will come for those of you who were there Binga, they'll play the guitar and she'll come and lead worship i will never forget one day i lashed them can you remember the day i lashed you seriously very seriously they were not serious with their work and i came that night from i came from the throne room with such an anointing and when i came you know it's not my fault jesus entered the temple when he saw what was going on in the temple say it's the zeal of the lord and that day i made sure that i told them before the meeting they must pray for one hour pray in tongues for one hour clean out every flesh that can corrupt what people need to hear god has honored her today i'm saying this when you see god lifting people in spite of your criticism keep quiet and find out what is being done that you are not doing bless you are you getting my point now say lord i receive grace to be faithful god gave you an anointing you can't heal any sick body but he gave you grace to preach you have refused to preach you don't do any evangelism see i'm tired of this evangelism that doesn't have power haba I, I let, let me shine too when i pray let the person fall how can i be frustrating myself i'm talking the guys agree with me i'm quoting a scripture he's responding back lay hands on the guy and let him wake up and know that there is a potential difference that's what you want and god is watching god is saying look at this is the level of grace that i gave you and this is what you are doing with it remain there until you learn the art of faithfulness that takes you to another level that's why overtaking is allowed in the spirit you can see a man will come and in one year he has entered some levels and you have been there for three years you get the same job in the same office other people are eyeing the boss shouting there and there this boss likes women the other one is saying lord i thank you for the privilege although they are paying me twenty thousand, i know it cannot do anything i thank you and i'll be faithful the other one is saying weak, wicked boss you give us twenty thousand. we are here walking you are using a phone of two hundred thousand. you are there grumbling and god is watching you hallelujah do you know god watches your works as you serve as you are faithful god gave you a little level when i started out i didn't start as anointed as this it would have been witchcraft if i started like this line upon line faithfulness i remember when we were very few those who were around 
one day we went for evangelism in Jamaa hospital we went there and invaded the place just went to preach and share the love of Christ you are not ready to start small some of you the way you start is true that God has called you in the ministry and you, you've seen the stadium you've seen yourself parking wheelchairs and you will never start small you want to start from the stadium one foolish boy brought a letter for me that they want to the spirit of God led them to hold one crusade what's the name of that place where they play golf on your way to huh? polo field I said polo field as if I don't know God you better go and settle down and start small they just came some boys said God gave us an instruction he said I saw it the other the way they were boiling as if they want to start praying I said calm down polo field God gave you a vision go to polo field see all this if you know the kingdom and you understand the structure not even visions will mislead you visions and revelations have made people to do stupid things the word of God that reveals the structure of the kingdom is surer than any dream you will have and any prophetic word you will be given God will never let me tell you take a man who is not faithful and put him in a high position it does not work like that hallelujah it doesn't work like that say I receive grace to be faithful say it I receive grace to be faithful there are many of you I'm telling you you would have left the level that you are now if only you were faithful you've not been faithful with the anointing God gave you you started business God gave you 50,000 you are complaining and grumbling out of the profit of the 50,000 you bought clothes you bought phone you are shining and you say I'm a kingdom financier God said no way you can sing songs about million you can draw dollars on your pillow you will never be a kingdom millionaire but God trusts you with 50,000 and you say Lord out of this that you have given your kingdom your kingdom and God says you did this for me and then God will test you and say lay down that Isaac and you say Lord it's painful but let it go God will say you qualify step into the next level hallelujah God made you a prayer coordinator of your small fellowship and you are faithful you are praying you are seven in the whole group but you are praying oh god bless these people may they find salvation they are walking in holiness they are walking in truth bless them bless their academics increase them there's nobody to tell you thank you nobody to tell you well done even when you know they are criticizing you when you know they are saying this Ogasa, this your spirituality is too much you say lord bless them i still love them god says this looks like the kind of person i can bless are you hearing what I'm saying? You are not faithful. There are many people who will never be parents because they have not proven to be faithful children. You insult every elderly person around you, including your parents. And now you want a husband, you want a wife with your bad attitude so that you make your child become like what you are. God said, no way. We are rehabilitating the young people in the earth. You must change before I trust you. Are you, are you getting what I'm sharing tonight? It's a very serious message. Be faithful. Stop eyeing a high position somewhere. Be faithful. Be faithful. Hallelujah. Jesus started with a few disciples. And then there were so many people. Then there was a crowd. It didn't just start with a crowd. Financially, God wants you to be a multi-millionaire. And you just saw somebody, <laughs> one of my friends called me, very humorous person, and he called me. He said, Josh, in my presence, somebody bought a Jaguar, a new Jaguar, 18 million, tear rubber. Hi! I said, mm -mm, this is the devil here. 
this is not vision this is the devil this kind of lost you see that your own god gave you a golf you are embarrassed <laughs> especially when you see ladies you say come and push this golf out of here now i see this not your own this is what society has made us to become and god is watching you yes you have to open the door from outside but give thanks lord i give you thanks it's better than a bicycle i glorify you i'm not ashamed of it and you get up in the morning you are cleaning it when the tire is as if it's your child that is sick you go and fix it god is saying you have this guy is faithful whenever there is anything in the house of god you say well don't laugh at my golf it's available if he cannot carry people he can carry sound can you use it and god says look at what this guy is doing all of a sudden somebody will walk somewhere and say the lord led me aha to bless you with another car and he said lord it has not changed my faithfulness and you take care of it god gave you a car in three months it has packed up you don't wash it you don't take care of the tire the cars the plugs are everything is jacking he says keep jacking you must keep moving till it dies and you leave it there unfaithfulness unfaithfulness as little as clothes god gives you clothes you don't wash them you don't iron them and you say lord you better bless me all these prophecies that they are giving god is saying what does it cost for me to bless you but you have not proven that you are faithful i receive grace to be faithful that's what i i tell god all the time this work this little work that god has given i i i take it that's why i take my job seriously every time you see me I, i'm in an attitude of seriousness not because there is any human being coming to supervise me i put a sense of urgency time to pray when i'm praying for you nobody disturbs me i shut up the place and i'm praying i say lord you have committed these people and it's my job to pray bless them even those who are not tightened let the tight of the house cover for them while they listen to the message you have not tightened for one year and the heavens are still opening over you let me tell you that these these prayers that we are praying a day will come god will shift you out alone and then you say so this is how the heavens have been faithfulness God gave you the opportunity to play keyboard. You don't rehearse. You are not serious. You are not improving yourself. You are there angry with anybody who can. See, there are certain people because of our lack of faithfulness. We never appreciate what, give, what God gives us. We always want more. And we are always envious and angry at people rather than being faithful intimidated by people and we oh god i want this i want this and many of us get into all kinds of things that's what has made many men of god to get into witchcraft the truth is the honor they want to get is going to come how many of you know that all of us here will be blessed we are going to be blessed the millions will come a day will come the things you admire now see I used to think I like food. It's a lie. I don't like food. Lack. Everybody say lack. There is a there is a way lack can hit you. It will create lust in you. Anything you see, it must finish before you rest. That's what was happening to me. Listen, the things you admire about people that make you unfaithful with God. If you can be faithful you will walk in it all these cars you see an average young man under pressure people lie everywhere say I ask them where are they walking say I'm, I'm walking with one uh, uh, construction what is the name is it a construction company I shot Abuja and uh, Zaria so what are you doing now I came to solicit for another job is it true it's a lie what is pursuing you impatience and lack of faithfulness whereas you are working in a cafe that's a construction company you are working in a cafe and you are embarrassed by it whereas you would have been faithful god has blessed me with a job don't say i'm managing you are not managing you are creating a report card that will bless you 
Hallelujah. I'm in a cafe now. How much do you earn? I earn 5,000. Say you. What kind of, why are you falling your hand like this? No problem. Say if it's 5,000, let me give you your salary for this month. And people intimidate you. No problem. He should carry his money and keep showing everything. You just be faithful. Sister, till now, you cannot afford a withdrawal of one five. No problem. No problem. I can plant. I'm using my natural hair, but I love God and I'm faithful. I won't follow any man because of money. My God will give it to me. One of the miracles God did in my life is that I never, this craving, this craving for material things that you see somebody and say, Oh God, if you don't take me there, no. One day I went to buy a suit. And somebody said, this is the fashion in town. I said, I don't know who are the day. I will buy what I want. Don't put any pressure on me. Who are the day? What fashion? Where? I buy what is good. I buy what I like. I pay for it. If I cannot pay for it, I go and wait patiently. Many of us, there are shops you cannot pass right now. You have eaten almost one quarter of everything there. Your money is not enough to buy it, but you must buy it. Every time you pass, I want black currant. How much? 600. How much do you have? 59. Just give me. Because we cannot be faithful at this level. Everybody say, I receive grace to be faithful. Refuse to be embarrassed at the level you are now serve god faithfully let men criticize you let men talk let them say you are looking for a name let them say you are looking for a husband or wife no problem be faithful the god who sees your faithfulness when he begins to reward you even you you can't stop it you have a ministry here god has committed two people be faithful pray for the two people pray teach them truth if you have 200 naira and they are hungry sacrifice it god is watching that was what happened to david everybody say david david for a few sheep brothers and sisters david went to the wilderness he risked his life to save a few sheep the brothers had thrown him down but god was watching him and Eliab and all the happening guys God was just watching them when it was time for for people to be blessed Eliab came out broad chested God said no way these are not the kind of people I'm not looking for warriors on the throne I'm looking for faithful servants you are in the worship team they never gave you a song to back up but that I mean to to lead but when you stand here huh, and you are faithful you are singing from the depths of your heart you don't just grumble and say this coin on yourself the way they do their things just a few people who are shining once you hear people complaining like that the truth is is they want themselves to be in that position they will use a third party statement they say why is it that only a few decoration ladies are sitting in front once you hear people talk like that they are not lawyers they are not advocating for anybody they are speaking for themselves it's not like I'm speaking about myself or it's not me. <laughs> Who asked you? Say I receive grace to be faithful. God wants to increase us financially. But what have you done with the finances that God has given you? You keep wasting money around. Throwing money everywhere. Doing things that do not glorify God. And then you stand and believe. That God is going to carry 1 billion or 10 million or 100 million and give to you. And then you see God bless someone else and you are like, ah, God. I receive grace to be faithful. Lord, I thank you. If it is to sweep, the psalmist said, I, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. A doorkeeper. God is speaking to someone tonight. I want to lift you up but you have not been found faithful you have not been found faithful the little anointing i gave you you have only been falling and rising you've not done anything with it
Hallelujah. There are ministries who will never experience the prosperity of God. Not because they are not titan, but they are not faithful. They are not faithful at all. The members raise offering. The men of God misuse the money. They do anything they want to do with it. The man of God is celebrating a birthday party. And they, they waste so much amount. And the ministry is just starting. They don't have that kind of money. You see that? And we put pressure. We men of God put pressure on people. Make me the biggest cake. 30,000. Make me this. And this is the money of the house of God. You're using it and wasting it. And God says, no way. You can't rise beyond this level. But God commits resources to a house. And he's seen the way the, the finances of the Lord's house are being used. He's seen the faithfulness. He's seen accountability. God says you are ready to move higher. Who is God speaking to tonight? You've been unfaithful. God gave you one room. You never cleaned it for once. Everywhere in the room is leaking. Including under the house. You have never said, let me call somebody to smell. He says, is it my property? This big you. Is it my property? And you want God to honor you. You want God to bless you. Hallelujah. Your neighbor always picks you and brings you for koinonia. You've never said, let me contribute small foil. 2,000 naira. You had the car making all kinds of noise. You cannot be faithful. God will never never it doesn't work that way who is god speaking to tonight many of us will need to pray tonight and say lord i repent i've not been faithful you want to rise higher uh -uh. you watch television and you see great people like david oyedeko and you see all of the crowds and all of the things and there are men who sit down just wishing and they dreaming wishing and they dreaming Say, let's calculate how much prophet offering will come to this man now. See what you are thinking. Say, ah, a man with this crowd, the money. You carry that anger and come back to your small fellowship. And you see four people, four committed people. Say, Didn't I tell you to bring five, five people? Why have, stand up. Why have you not brought five, five people? You must bring five, five people. Have you been faithful? The, the five people are not learning anything for one year. They cannot tell you one kingdom principle. You've not made warriors out of them. They don't pray. They don't fast. They don't grow. They are not knowing the Lord. They lack intelligence. And God is saying, this is the same thing you will do if I give you 100 people. There are many men of God who want crowd. They don't study they don't pray you meet them all the time they are snoring snoring playing computer games watching football you think ministry is just an occupation god looks at your heart and says no i can send you to go and assist i can send you to go and help but i will never send you to lead my work you are not faithful you are vulnerable he leads me and guides me to the city up above he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny listen there were times i would prophesy and speak over people nothing will happen maybe in a crowd like this there may just be one testimony and i said i will be faithful if i cannot pray for the sick at least i can pray for the people and i know god will hear my prayer god saw my heart till today till tomorrow god knows that my desire for more anointing is never so that they will say joshua selman is a great man people say all kinds of things send all kinds of text messages and i thank god but god knows for the rest of my life i remain a servant serving the house of god forget about all of this little honor that comes this is if you want it the welfare the welfare can give you when you see all the protocols standing following me ah when koinonia started i used to climb bike machine during miracle service 
there will be crowd inside and outside you just see me coming on machine shape bless your people oh god change their story change their life and it was never an embarrassment it was the protocol department that decided they said kai please honor to whom honor is due this is over tomorrow now somebody will see me coming down from a jeep that god has blessed me with you will now be angry why are you angry i climb bike i enter taxi some of you are embarrassed to enter bus after service to go and say no let them not know that i didn't come with my car and you start explaining to everybody my car was faulty who asked you enter the bus and go home enter the bus and go home everybody knows you are still rising there is no revelation that will convince us you have gotten there we are all young people rising it's just that some are faster than others what's the embarrassment about somebody comes to your room and it's only gary you have you are hiding until the leather falls out of your wardrobe and you embarrass yourself bring it out and say this is what i have god is faithful the day you buy a recharge card lord i thank you i could afford a recharge card the day you buy a fridge see don't be embarrassed let men see you at your level now so that they will see the faithfulness of god great is thy faithfulness oh god my father there is no shadow of turning with thee thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness Morning by morning, you must sing it from your heart. All I have needed, I have just provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Some of you are even ashamed to introduce your parents to other people because your mother sells a car and your father is a carpenter and you are a fine lady you don't want to fall your hand that is foolishness of the highest order the person who played the fatherly role of jesus was a carpenter are you getting my point get this childishness out of your life there are some of you here the work that you do you wash clothes for people is better than prostitution is better than stealing learn dignity in labor be faithful there you're working and they're giving you 200 naira it's small but the 200 naira is with dignity there are many of you god gave you an idea you and somebody put a small joint for a car and you laughed you laughed at god like sarah he said god if you don't if you cannot bless me i can wait there are some of us here God told you I will take you far but start selling used clothes you said ha ah, God used clothes I have never worn a, a these clothes that the one uh, what they call it hallelujah I only wear designers why will I now begin to sell used clothes oh Lord you are falling my hands and God will say you never will qualify to rise to that level where you will be committed with the true riches of the kingdom some of you are you are not in any unit not in your church not in koinonia you don't serve you don't do anything your job and you've been coming here for a long time your job is to sit down watch others and complain about what is not done do you know that faithfulness faithfulness is how god blesses people hallelujah someone can say me oh god i put it as a self-imposed work my my covenant with you is that every time i will be cleaning the pulpit i would lie us with decoration please give me the opportunity my job is to be cleaning the pulpit of the house of god nobody needs to know you 
see take what i'm saying seriously if you are interested in rising to the new level there is a level of death that must happen to you you must show god that you are not ashamed of your current level hallelujah there are people in the house of god faithfulness god gave you little blessings and they say let's kneel down in the presence of god you now lay down one hand as if as if you are asking your wife out to marry you kneel down before the presence of god and be serious the one who has kept your life all this nonsense people do in the house of god i tell you papa adeboye till today he travels around the world what's that thing that they play tambourine right he carries his tambourine among the the world's hundred most influential people it has not changed him he takes his tambourine whenever he goes to a place no matter who you are he will get down on his knees and start singing to the one who took him from where he was and brought him here i choose to be faithful i will never allow anything stop me from rising to the new level that's why you can listen to a man it's not like he has so much rema or he has so much but he will just say may god increase you and the door will open because of faithfulness and some people will come on on stage and shout as if they are forwarding a tape and nothing happens to anybody this is the place of the anointing you will find the anointing in the place of faithfulness this morning i was just worshiping and i said lord will you bless your people worship was just playing early in the morning and i was crying tears were coming out i said lord there are people coming tonight with burdens there are people coming trusting god a lady came in from just i'm sure she's around this lady took a step of faith nobody no place to stay she just came in she said i'm tired of what is happening in my life how could i come and stand on the stage and then begin to make all kinds of noise that's why we pray that's why i take this work that god has given because i know that before i was born god has been blessing people and if i'm not serious he will get me out of the stage and you see let me tell you dr paul and Encher said it is god who will use the calabash to fetch water so that he will disgrace the pot when the pot thinks i'm the only one god will use calabash with holes inside and still fetch water never find yourself thinking god cannot do without you that is a big deception oh god can do without joshua selman god forbid if i die today ah yes you'll cry for one week you say why did he die you go and listen to all my messages that i say i wouldn't die say oh he has died after one week case closed you will fight yourselves looking for who to lead here and I, by the time you finish the fight something <laughs> ah thank you for this deliverance oh lord i have no business in all of this nonsense my desire is to serve you my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised i tell you that's that's my desire that you be praised and i will be faithful in doing this my one desire is that you be praised that you be praised that you be praised you want the anointing be faithful you want greater levels be faithful where you are right now whatever department you are working be faithful stop complaining stop finding faults contribute your quota and god who sees what you are doing god gave us a word that is lifting us and that means he's calling on us to be faithful one of these days god is going to be moving across this congregation checking the report cards of men let me see your prayer life did you pray for the house where nobody saw you were you worshiping in spirit and in truth hallelujah i told him lord whatever will change my faithfulness in service 
whatever will make me to stop seeking the blessings of your people and start looking to build an empire for myself so that you say this is joshua selman and all the great works he has done oh may it be far from me if there is any prayer you will pray for me don't pray that god should give me money don't, don't pray all those things they will come naturally pray and say lord give him focus never to be distracted by all these things that cause great men to fall ministry you want this you want branches oh 26 branches the man of god now has a television ah ah my one desire is that you be praised is that you be praised is that you be praised god is talking because there are lots of young people rising with anointing and grace but you need a lot of guidance and grace otherwise you will just run with zeal without knowledge and you will crash land very badly stop mentoring the lives of wrong people who teach you that grace is grace of god is working in your life all of a sudden in two months your church grows to fifty thousand people is witchcraft god doesn't build people that way are you getting what i'm saying hear a little god will trust you with little be faithful when you are faithful with the little he trusts you he will take you higher and then leave you at that realm then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you will be faithful then he will take you higher then you become arrogant then you remain in that level you add another arrogance you go down small then it reminds you that God can do without you then you repent and then you rise higher that's how people keep moving up and down as if they are playing computer game but once you maintain a life of humility that's how the, your path will be as a shining light men will just keep seeing you rising because God will say the way you love me bless you that's why sometimes I worship him in your presence so that you can see that you should never get into get to any level where you become too big some of us what we need to repent of tonight is big manism when you come to the presence of god pack whoever and whatever you have i love i love i love your presence i love i love I love your truth. I love, I love. I love your presence. I love, I love. I love your truth. If only headache is being healed now, be faithful. The day God gives you an opportunity, to pray for someone's head pray for the head don't go and try and just get up god didn't lead you you go and tell somebody in the name of jesus you are seeing the person no legs you say legs grow you disgrace yourself and scatter what god has been trying to do god is trying to announce you slowly you now went and cancelled it because of pride or impatience right two dangers or two enemies of faithfulness very quickly and i'll round up number one is pride pride makes us not to be faithful at the level that we are in pride obadiah 1 verse 3 i saw a scripture that blew me i'll round up right now obadiah 1 verse 3 is god challenging someone tonight obadiah 1 verse 3 everybody read the pride of thy heart has deceived thee thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock whose habitation is high that saith in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground your pride has deceived you so that when god has given you grace for saria
pride has made you believe that you are supposed to be in a television ministry pride stops men from being faithful there are many churches in all kinds of beds now going to television ministry that they have no business going to god has not anointed them to that level yet see if god does not send you you can still move but the question is life will ask you who is sending you many of us pride pride the humility to remain at the level that you are in where are you walking ah uh, i shuttle between zaria abuja and just what's wrong with saying god is helping me i've started and i'm in zaria i'm doing something god is faithful don't say i'm managing don't use that language what you call managing is the prayer request of somebody else we are managing with all these people while i'm working on another white collar job it is in that place of managing you will meet your miracle that will take you to another level so you refuse to be faithful because you think you are managing how much are they paying me in this primary school i'm teaching primary one to primary six you are teaching them math you are not faithful like david in the wilderness if you are faithful one day god can give you your own business empire and you sit down and say i once was a school teacher hallelujah a young man met me one time i looked at him i said how are you sir he said fine the way he was saying fine as if he was going to push me he was going to introduce himself i'm so so person i deal with oil and gas specifically offshore you know i have the company and i'm doing this and that and that and the xyz said i should meet you for xyz and all kinds of stories and then i was just looking at him and after he made all those noise you see if you are blessed you are blessed even if you are blessed and you choose to wear slippers you are still blessed if you are not blessed you are not blessed even if you choose to borrow a car you are still it's not your own after making all of that noise and jargon i was just looking at this brother why put yourself under pressure if you see the kind of cards that he printed war suit pencil tie oil and gas say so i receive grace to be faithful at the level that god has has brought me receive grace oh god jordan please stand up come i know when oh god listen let me tell you something i'm sorry if i pry a bit into your private life how many of you know life way for many years jordan walked with them and served faithfully many years while he was learning faithfully god was looking he never knew that one day he will have his own bookstore are you getting my point but he was faithful i will never forget when god blessed him his his shop was so small it was like a console room a few books here and there but god is lifting him the last time i spoke with him he's already making negotiations to begin to bring books directly from outside the country this is what faithfulness can bring there are people who have been binding demons for years and nothing has happened because of their arrogance listen say in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful with what god has given me and at the level he has placed me say it again in the name of jesus i receive grace to be faithful The clothes you cannot afford now be patient are you hearing what i'm saying the hair you cannot buy now be patient brothers the shoe you cannot buy now the dress you cannot buy now be patient that's the second reason why people the second enemy of faithfulness impatience i always preach and i say impatience has cheated many people many of our parents are in debt of billions of naira today 
because they tried to build a house that their colleagues were building that your financial level has not reached foundation enough at 50 million he would have built an estate a comfortable estate in a place i must go to gra i must go to my tama i must build in lekki whereas god gave you wisdom one small place outside the town six million would have comfortably built a house that you would have been renting you've carried many families are suffering today because of the ego of our parents pride made them to go and enter a deal that their finance cannot take sold the car sold the house sold the property sold everything because of impatience everybody say i receive grace to be patient say it i receive grace to be patient especially those of you in business say i receive grace to be patient there's no hurry be patient a prophecy has already gone ahead that you will be blessed be patient be patient do you know what patience can do in your life the bible says follow them who through faith and patience you are in ministry be patient say i will be patient say it again i will be patient stop getting up and your body is just shaking i want to organize program i want to organize program your body is just shaking you don't have the money i want to organize program and in that program i want to invite benny Hinn. i want to invite paul and i want to invite papa you god is leading you and say invite one brother in your fellowship that god is helping say, ah, which kind of brother i want the one that the, the posters very funny things people do there are ministries that run themselves down trying to invite men of god that they do not have the financial capacity and the organizational capacity to host them they just want a name i brought abc i brought xyz now you go and bring a man from london matthew ashimolo in your small church of 100 people and now the whole bill and everything for bringing the man and hosting the man is five or ten million and you are there sweating praying prayers you should not have prayed you would have quietly gone to lagos or come down to zaria or anywhere and find brothers and sisters who god is helping say i receive grace to be patient rise gradually i believe in faith i am a man of faith but faith is not foolishness are you getting me you rise from faith to faith you rise from stage to stage there are some of us right now you are in level one some you are in level two some god has blessed you are in level five be patient in the ark of noah the cheetah the fastest animal entered there the snail also got there it's a matter of time wherever god has not taken me i don't want any man to take me there are times i have consciously refused certain levels of exposure because i know in my spirit that the season for that dimension of exposure has not come and although there is room to go by the time you go you will die that's why a man of god can leave one geography go to another place and start failing and you are wondering is this not the anointed man you used to know hallelujah i will go i will go anywhere you lead me i will go rise up on your feet two prayer points and we're out of this place i don't just want to sound what god is saying just like i'm just making noise hallelujah all those who are worshiping with us for the first time i want you to come out i want to lay my hands on you the lord is leading me to do this all those worshiping with us for the first time i want you to just come out and stand here i want to lay my hands and prophesy upon your life please very quickly we're out of time everyone if this is your first time of coming just come and line up here Hallelujah.
I want to lay my hands and prophesy the blessing of the Lord upon you. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's God of fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He will give up on you. Say, say, oh. Hallelujah. I want to thank all of you for coming. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you. We honor you. We celebrate you. Now, listen. When I lay my hands on you, as soon as I lay my hands on you, I just want you to go out. There is a committee that will meet with you. Hallelujah. They will meet with you and just greet you warmly. Ideally, I'm just supposed to call you, pray, and just bless you. But the Lord is leading me to lay my hands on you. Hallelujah. I like you to be praying. And as I lay my hands on you, just a touch. I want you to believe God. Whatever it is that you came here trusting God for, I want you to believe. As I lay my hands on you, for many of you, doors will be opened supernaturally. I want you to desire it. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Everyone in the congregation, stretch your hands. I will be very fast, very fast. Just a touch. When I lay my hands on you, just follow the other people outside. Thank you, Father. Bless them, oh God. Bless them. I anoint you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I, I anoint you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you in the name of Jesus. I anoint you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint you. Receive the anointing. Receive breakthrough in every area of your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive breakthrough. Let the hand of God be strong upon you. May the grace of God be at work in your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I rebuke every spirit, every power of darkness that wants to destroy your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free from any assault of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I take authority over everything that is not of God in your life. Return with dramatic testimonies by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is not working in your life, I command it to work now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the heavens are open towards you. The heavens are open over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the hand of the mighty God, the heavens are open towards you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, enjoy unlimited grace. Enjoy open doors by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the mighty name of Jesus, may the hand of God come strong upon your life. May he anoint you mightily. In the name of Jesus, may the grace of God speak in your life. Rise from one level of grace to another. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. You are blessed by the power of the Almighty. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Two prayer points. Prayer point number one. Oh God, take away pride and impatience from my life. Lift your voice and pray. Take away pride. Pride. Pride and impatience. Please pray it. Lord, take away pride. Pride that stops me from being faithful at the level you have placed me. I take away that pride by the power of the Holy Ghost. Pray. I pray. I receive grace to stay at the level God has placed me. I receive grace to be faithful. I receive grace to be faithful. Faithful to God. Faithful to man. Faithful in the house of God. Pray. I receive humility in the name of Jesus. I refuse a fake life I remain faithful and God will honor me and bring me to a place of prominence it won't be long because my faithfulness is my report card that will qualify me to experience greater levels of grace now pray against impatience I receive patience in my life patience to move gradually patience 
to move one step at a time i'm not in a hurry i'm not in a hurry to be rich i'm not in a hurry to be influential i take my time i go through the school of the spirit i remain properly trained properly trained to be used by god i am well equipped i move from one level to the other hallelujah Oh, come lay down the burdens that you have carried. For in this sanctuary tonight, God is here. Let's just read one scripture. Just one scripture. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. There is such a heavy presence of God in this place. Inside and outside, let your faith rise to its limit because God will do awesome things tonight. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Tonight is a prophetic night. Oh. Tonight is a... See, the words here tonight have prophetic implications. And caused me to pass by them round about. Bones of hardship. Bones of lack. Bones of infirmity. Bones of oppression. And behold, they were very many. This is the story of many families, very many. And they were very dry. And he said unto me, Joshua Selman, can these bones leave? Can this sick body leave? Can these dying finances leave? Can this delay and stagnation in this family leave again? Can this hopeless situation? leave can this blood condition leave can ss be changed to aa can a man on a wheelchair walk again the prophet was so scared he said only thou knowest and he said unto me prophesy there is no one like my god there is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. Prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, O ye dead finances, O ye family challenges, O ye oppression, hear ye the word of the Lord, O ye challenges, hear ye the word of the Lord. He said, Thus saith the Lord, I will cause breath to enter you. And ye shall leave. And I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you. And cover you with skin and put breath in you. And ye shall leave. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied there was a sound. There is a sound. This is why we are making sounds in the spirit. And as I prophesied, there was a sound. Bones, finances, health. I will reverence 
you, Lord. Don't sing. Don't join me. Help me with the simba. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. 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 For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Tonight, every dry bone. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. For in your presence there is life everlasting. For in your presence there are miracles. For in ha, your presence there is joy, joy everlasting. So I will reference you, Lord. Tonight we dethrone principalities and powers and everything that defies the name of Jesus. Tonight we set free the captives and the oppressed. Lord visit your people in a mighty way. In a mighty way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready for what God will do tonight? How many of you are tired of the oppression of Satan? Don't just stand in for yourself. Stand in for your family members. Enough is enough, oh God. Hallelujah. The Lord told me there will be mighty deliverance in this place tonight. Many of you do not know the power of deliverance. Bring the lady who will shout at the back. The power of God will come upon one lady at the back. Please let me have her in front. power of God will come upon a lady strong at the back let me have that lady in front tonight listen 
I want your faith to reach its limit. Because as we begin to move in the anointing of the Spirit, I want you to receive. Forget about your neighbor. Receive for yourself, for your family members. If you brought someone here, I'd like you to relax because God will do wonders in our midst. Hallelujah. The lady at the back, I'm seeing an angel walking. I'm seeing an angel walking across this road. The lady is wearing something like pink. Pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. That's the lady. Bring her. She will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the agency of the Spirit. Let her go now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus, foul devil of darkness. Go. I see you in the realm of the Spirit. Go now. Bring them out. Lift your hands, everyone. There are many people under the oppression of darkness. The moment I shout the name Jesus, I tell you to be like a tornado. The power of God will hit you where you are. No devil. I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit. I hold captive every foul devil tonight you will let God's people go now lift your hands everyone at the count of three shout Jesus and the power of God will fall one two three every devil Bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon oppressing anyone outside. The power of God is falling outside. Falling outside. I rebuke evil spirits. In this row, in this row, the power of God is falling mightily. Come out of God's people. I expose the works of darkness. Every demon in hell. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Every act of witchcraft and divination, many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now. Because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. The wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies. You will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire is falling right now. The fire is falling right now across the congregation. Let the fire expose the works of darkness. Let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire Abara la mala la mala 
These Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. Hallelujah. Come out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Foul devil of darkness. Go, go. I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit. Out of her right now. Come out of her. You're a wicked spirit of darkness. Out. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. Come out right now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus Christ. Go. This lady has been oppressed and her entire family. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. You must go. The light shines upon you. Go. Go now. You have oppressed this girl for long. Now in the name of Jesus, come out of her. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her right now. Out in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Turn and look at me. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a wicked spirit of darkness. Go, go. You will go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a snake lying down here. I'm not even seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this girl go right now. Come out of her. Now. Out of her. Now, devil of darkness. Lift your hands. God is going to visit families. Hear me. Please hear me. And some of you will represent your families. Are you hearing me right now? The devil is a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? The devil is a liar tonight. The power of God will come upon families. Families. Right now. Whoever goes under the anointing, you're not representing yourself, but your family. There are things that need to be settled. At the count of three, all over this building, families be rescued. One, two, three. Papa, Pateka, Karata, Bete, Kerekoba, Baba Tata Lata Bakeria. Bring them out. Every family, every family, every enchantment, every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Pata Tabalada, Pata Barata, Karatosa, Rabariata, Beketori Zeke, Mabrikato, Ereka Likaba, Rabariata, Rekoto Zeke Tekete, Bekeposhia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Apatakata, leka pras kataraka, rakata prakata ba, ba pros koso so prekete. It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Go to reke, reko to so seke dia. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments 
of many families tonight there's no escape the light and fiery presence Matakabaya. those of you outside lift your hands all of you outside lift your hands in the name of the lord jesus like a mighty rushing wind let the power of god move outside move outside move outside move outside families be delivered families be set free move outside Outside, the fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. right now you are a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territory salvation these are the spirits responsible listen for delay delaying different things marriages there's a lady at the back this row the power of God is coming upon you right now fire upon her in the name of Jesus look up please look up Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body.
Have you not wondered? Look up. There are certain issues that you go through in your life. You pray about it. You fast about it. The more you pray, the more you fast, nothing is changing. Why is it so? Hold on, hold on. No, let that lady not go. Look at my eyes. Please dress her. Let's have a lady wrap something around her. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. See. Listen. The Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something. If you don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family, you will be surprised that you can be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. See, we like telling ourselves lies in church. Me, I don't have time for that nonsense. Are you listening to me? Everybody just wears suits, and then we just and the devil is oppressing people. Who is Zainab? Zainab. Zainab. Please let's save time. Zainab. You are Zainab. Look at me. The Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family. Come out of her right now and her family. Out in the name of Jesus. You will see a nice pretty lady like this. Then eventually things will not move on in her life. Bring this lady. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm speaking to the spirit, not the person. Don't worry, the spirit is hearing. Look at my eyes. Your reign in this family is over. It's time for you to go now. Now, go. Just let her be. Come. Lift this lady for me. Sweetheart. Your family needs a lot of... Ah, what is this one that I'm seeing? You have an elder sister. Where is she? Is she married? Eh? She lost the guy. It's not that she lost the guy. Because I'm seeing... Anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying. This is what I'm saying. Look at me. Look at me, sister. What happened to the guy? He was shot. He was shot. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So now you see this lady and you are happy. Satan. Come out now. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out now. Now. Out. Let our entire family go. The problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil, it takes the mercy of God. This is the situation we have here. Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Ranta prosko zete balakatea. Victory, Victoria, victory. 
victory. Is it victory or Victoria now? What's the name? Victoria, come. Look at me. The Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that? hands on your stomach look at me look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can all right are you ready one to go Jesus. you're free in the name of Jesus I want to pray listen I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart, heart condition. These two ladies come. Come. Tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. Sister. It's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. Out of our family right now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Bring this lady. Look at look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself, and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. Heart, heart, heart conditions. Where are they? Please come out quickly. Heart. Just dress this ones aside. Every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight. Heart, please come out quickly. Hold on. There's, the Lord is showing me someone. You have like epileptic seizures. Who is that person? You can fall down and convulse. Who is the person? Ep it started when you were young. Who is that person? Let me see your hands quickly. I need to pray for that person. Epileptic seizures. Because this is very demonic. Epileptic seizures. Look at me. How many of you believe you will be healed? What's wrong with you? Yes. Heart problem. Come. There is one of you, you had a dream. It was after that dream you started having this heart thing. Who is that? You had a dream. Come. Speak for God to set you free. What's the problem? Give him. What's the problem? There is a day that I was sleeping. In the dream. I saw somebody. The person don't shout. Hey, they are not shout and I Since then, my heart. It seems, to me, it seems to me that the heart wants to. I want to give up. Anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not hard. You think it's hard problem? Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus.
be healed now in the name of Jesus I'm going to pray for you quickly as I pray for you just receive go back check yourself in the name of Jesus come out of her come out you are wicked come out out of her right now come out now wicked devil Aha, I've seen you. Come out. Out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. Aha. You will leave her. Come out. Out of her right now. Out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. of you who brought sick people please we'll, we'll start ministering shortly but I want to pray for people who please stand up everybody stand up stand up hallelujah the Lord is specifically asking me to pray I'm going to pray you won't come out God will bring you out by himself um, the Lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep in your sleep you are sleeping in the night the severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things the Lord is going to set you free from it lift your hands everyone it should go lift your hands father even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus Please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. Hmm. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manip manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Now! 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 I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 
Go! Bring them out. Oppression from your dreams. Molestation in your dreams. Parekete sekelebash. Pashote kete tete. Rekete bosoto balaka. Lord, this one's in front. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you freedom. An end comes to this devilish oppression. You will go. You will go. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. You will go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is... Go! Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out of her. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where's the other lady that came? Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosaki will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body, you came with a sick person, especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sam. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in lines, please. 
Some of you are outside. Rolling here. It's time for your healing. Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit, for some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. As hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you, expect a miracle. Whatever it is, barrenness, delay, sickness, what if it has a name, it has a need tonight. Hallelujah. Worship him, help us. Please, those of you at the side, please make sure that you just join us when we lay hands on you. Check yourself. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be here. Jesus. 
Jesus name you are out go go fire upon you right now Satan get lost get lost get lost get lost get lost get lost go go in the name of Jesus now your time is up in the name of Jesus go you are a wicked spirit fire upon you right now fire upon you out with a loud shout you are going out go go now go 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 on your mark set go you're free thank you jesus the demonstration of the authority of light over darkness Make sure you are praying. Harapo shalabandi. Whatever the sickness is, it will go. In the name of Jesus, go. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Come out, come out, come out, come out now in the name of Jesus. Out of her, in the name of Jesus. Go, go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, your time is up in this body. Go. As we pray for you, make sure you go back to your seat, giving thanks and rejoicing. It doesn't matter what is wrong. right now
telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Malaka prosata la bakanya. Sheda balarabonga. Zatekra tabalaraba. I'm seeing families. The curse of delay. Marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families. Station of darkness, go in Jesus' name.
For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked. Someone has a problem with the left side of your ears. The left side of your ears. Who is that person? The left side of your ears. It's as if there's water. The left side of your ears. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. at me. Just look at me. Warm. Please be sensitive. Everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic. And I will restore to you. There are two families here that need major restoration. The Holy Spirit is going to bring them out. They will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. Wherever you are, I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. You will come out by the power of the spirit leave them alone they will come out by themselves there's one more family by the by the influence of the spirit major restorations One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about major restorations major restorations it's the holy ghost that will pick you a lady from the back will start running out by the power of the holy ghost all of them you will come out don't no but don't hold her she will run and come out by the influence of the holy ghost there's still one more lady at the back I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. By the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Take a tele karamos. Everyone that belongs to this category. The sign is that you will run by yourself. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's a prophetic sign for speed. The Holy Ghost is bringing speed into your life. Let our family go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major, major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now. Days from now. There are still some people at the back. 
the Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people families for restoration families for restoration my Lord major major restoration hallelujah hallelujah eight eight one one two five two eight eight one one two five two you or someone in your house has that number this is part of the 11 numbers eight eight one one two five two come out eight eight one one two five two And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. 774. A Z number. 774. 774. A Z number. A Z number. These families must be free, oh Lord. You are the lady. You are the lady. 774. Z number. Do you know me? Do you know me? Come out of her right now. Out of her. Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. Laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. They will begin to laugh right now. The laughter is a sign of victory. I tell you, it's a prophetic sign. They can't control it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Some of you may sit there, you are wondering what is going on in this place right now. This is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Look at I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. 
All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. As this, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there. Lord, let your power move right now. Across that place, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. media just be seated don't stand up be seated but hold your hands together i want to pray for you at the count of three i'm seeing a whirlwind one two three There is a lady you had a dream yesterday you saw me ministering to you there are not many times these kinds of revelations happen who is that lady you're a lady you saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had please come out there is a lady please let's save time we still have some other things to do Baba sister you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit i want to open a gate right now Efata, be open An impartation is coming upon you. You will never be the same. David, the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way. And even you, the Lord is bringing order to your life. There's a lot of chaos. Your life is scattered. Very scattered. Let your life come back to order. Hallelujah. Ushers, collect the prayer requests. Please pass your prayer requests quickly. Gabriel. 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 there's a mighty move of the spirit in this place God is just visiting people make sure you don't those outside don't think you are not part of this ushers ushers look at me look at me Lever, come out come by yourself come and stand here Come and stand here. This lady is strongly influenced by spirits. Come and stand here. Just stand and wait for me here. Right here. Stand and wait for me here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go on, right? Go on.
bring this lady. Please, ushers, collect the prayer request quickly. Because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the Spirit. This lady loves God, but has been influenced by devils. It's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family. Are you listening to me? A prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from. Lord, You will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. Is it your mother or your auntie or something? On the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying as you announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? She has been sick. Eh? She has been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? My mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Do I know you? Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I'll soon tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, Many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother, run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. Was and this poisoned. is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal. Financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Too. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt. Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God. Please, Jake's cup. this request we are not opening it but I'm seeing here marriage for your sister the Lord says it won't pass this year this request I don't know who has it marriage for your sister I'm seeing a lady hold on Kai what is this before we pray someone in your family has stomach started protruding 
people even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanical. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach. In. No, 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 no. This, you, you are not, I'm seeing the lady, like um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. It's coming out. They're even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant. Hurry up, my sister. Let's save time. Who is that? You or someone in your family? Someone in your family. You believe in Jesus? Very well. Look at me. Look at me. Very well. And you believe you help your family. Because, my dear, there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first. A hmm? lot of salvation. You too. You were scared? Why? This is a family. Please, when you, when you hear a word, don't be scared. Hmm? Madam, why are you out for who? Eh? What is this? Okay. Has... Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of Jesus. None of the requests here, your hand will not bypass them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Celebrate Jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change. Forever. 
Believe me. Mosaks, come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. Outside. New levels. New dimensions. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Rabato let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood. The seal of divine protection. The seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. Hallelujah. Every uncompleted project in this place. I command, let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year. Completion of houses, projects in the name of Jesus. Every delay in relationship or marriage, I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus. Every plague of barrenness. 
inside and outside everything called barrenness in your life I curse it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I command a restoration whatever you have lost in the name of Jesus a sevenfold restoration receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah look at me I want to break the curse of poverty over families I always do this everybody look at me I want you to bring out a seed you know that we don't if you don't believe it just keep your seed please bring out a seed bring out something that will touch you just lift it up many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight inside and outside please share with somebody who doesn't have this is not about money this is about spiritual principles please bring out a seed lift it high above your head I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness... Are keeping the blessings of families just lift it up many of you will be surprised just hold it because that will be your uh, just lift it just lift it now the power of God every family suffering under financial curse just lift it you'll be surprised right now lift the seed to heaven my God like the sacrifice of Abel visit it now in the name of Jesus Rakatalata Bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice. To bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus it took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the Holy Spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it. Just give me 10 seconds. God is going to visit people right now. All across. Financially, 10 seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Do it, my God. Let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you i command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you i instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the lord job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it Please do that quickly. Let's round up. I 
I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God. If I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor. It's a season of supernatural exploits. I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. There's someone, your dad is a banker. He was taken away from the bank because of a case. Next month, before now I'm 14th, you'll be reinstated again. Hallelujah. Now look at me. If you are here, listen, everybody keep standing. And you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you've once given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing. Now is the time to make a genuine commitment. The Bible says, as many as will come, he will in no wise cast away. We're going to give you an opportunity now inside and outside. You probably were invited by someone or you've been here and you've seen what the Lord has done. You've seen the wonders of God. And the Lord is giving you an opportunity for a fresh start. As I count one to five, please inside and outside as a family of faith, i like us to celebrate such people. Leave your seat and run out right now. Everyone, one. Leave your seat and come. You are welcome. Thank you, sister. Thank you, my brother. Outside, we're inviting you. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. 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 Don't sit back. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. My sister, I see you. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Now, look at me. I salute you for making this bold decision. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. This is the beginning of a real journey for you. Are you listening to me? Lift your hands, all of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God. I'm unable to help myself. I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. You rose again for my justification. Today, I confess you as Lord. I receive your sacrifice and your love. I declare that I'm born again. I receive eternal life in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no place in my life. I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, the ushers will lead you. You'll follow them in one minute. And then Pastor Jakes will be meeting with you tomorrow 
there will be a follow up for you. What time, sir? What time? Seven. Seven tomorrow. Please come into chapel. You meet with Pastor Jakes and he'll follow you up. God bless you. Celebrate them, everyone. Hallelujah. If this is your first time worshiping with us in our April Miracle Service, jump like a champion you know you are and run out quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Come on, come out quickly. We want to bless and prophesy over your life. Wow, wow. I tell you, run like a champion. I like these guys. Look at them. Koinoni, are you celebrating Jesus for what he's doing? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. How many of you were blessed tonight? You will never be the same. I assure you, you will never, never be the same. You will know that you met the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.